guys welcome back to another video and today's video is something a little bit different for my channel and as it says in the title we are going to be discussing mental health so I've got 18 Q&A questions um, regarding mental health some of which are very personal and I've never spoken about before um, to a wider audience there's only a select few people that know um, but it's about time I shared with you guys what goes on up in here um, and I just really wanted to do this video I've seen my friend do several videos talking about mental health over on her channel I will link her channel down below for you guys um, and I just thought if I can get one of you guys talking or at least one person talking about how they're feeling um, then that will be a bonus and a positive for me um, because I wish I had spoken to someone about my mental health sooner um, but I didn't and I just wish that I could help someone else do the same um, so I wanted to do a get ready with me anyway um, so it's just my makeup but I also wanted to be able to do the mental health topic but not make it so serious so by doing the get ready with me it makes it less serious um, but yeah so I've got like I say I've got a series of questions which I will be answering for you guys um, so yeah let's get on with this video so guys I have my base makeup down you've seen me do it a million times before I just didn't want to make this video longer than what it needs to be um, so yeah anyway enough of that first question is do you have mental health issues and I would be lying if I said no um, I do have um, a couple of mental health issues that are diagnosed um, those are severe depression and severe anxiety um, and I was diagnosed when I was 16 um, second question is what's your relationship like with your family so I come from a very big family more so mum's side than dad's side um, but my mum is one of ten and there's two of those we don't talk to everyone else I have a pretty good relationship with the only issue we all have is we all work really long shifts and we all, we all work all the time and so we don't get to see each other as much as what we would like to um, dad's side of the family I have an uncle and I get on really really well with him but we don't speak to his children um, which is unfortunate but it's a thing that is happening and so we don't speak to his children as for my parents I was close with my dad as a kid and now not so much um, my mum we clashed a lot when I was younger and now we are pretty damn close um, uh, yeah so next question is have you ever self harmed and I would be lying again if I said no um, I self harmed for 12 years so I started when I was 9 years old um, and I stopped when I left college uh, number four is how do you cope with your mental health problems um, so I'm not medicated for my mental health um, I used to be I used to be on sertraline which is an antidepressant if you guys didn't know what that was um, but now I'm not medicated and now I just tend to occupy myself or try to find a happy place when I'm feeling depressed or something like that um, five what misconceptions have you heard about mental health 
Um, I've heard quite a few, but there's a couple that have stuck in my head. So the first one, which is one I got throughout a school, is that mental health problems are mainly associated with emos or goths or something like that. And like, it's associated with alternative people. And it's not, like, everyone can have mental health issues. It's not just associated with a type of person. Um, but that was one of the biggest ones I got or heard in school. Um, the second one is that it doesn't exist. And that mental health is just another excuse for people to grab attention. Six, have you ever had a bad reaction from people finding out about it? Yes. <laughs> That's a very straightforward answer, but yes. Um, my main bad reaction from it was actually from my mum. Um, and a lot of that is because she didn't understand it. So when I first told her about my self-harming, um, I was 14, so I'd already been doing it for five years, um, and she, she had a go at me. She full on got so upset and shouted at me and didn't quite know how to react to or didn't quite know what was a good way to react to me telling her is when my mum was younger it was a case of you just got on with it like you didn't really think about your mental health or anything like that you just got on with life because it wasn't such a big thing that people talked about a lot of it was if you had mental health issues you were weaker um, and so she didn't quite react in a brilliant way mainly because she didn't know how to deal with it um, number seven is have you ever lied about self-harm following on from the last question obviously yes I have I kept it from my family and my parents for five years so I had to lie about um, what was happening uh, number eight is have you ever been bullied and the whole reason why I started self-harming was through bullying so I've been bullied all throughout my education um, so right from primary school through to college college was the worst part of it um number nine have you ever been suicidal the answer to that one again is yes there has been many occasions where i have been suicidal um i'm not gonna lie uh number 10 is there anyone in particular who has gotten you through hard times so I wouldn't necessarily say it's a person, but it is, or oh, it was a living thing, and that was my little King Charles Cavalier. I apologise about barking in the background. Um, but that was my little King Charles Cavalier named Rio. He was a little tricolour. Um, and I got him when I was 10, and I lost him in 2015. Um, and he was my little rock throughout all of it he used to sense when something was wrong and he'd come up and give me a cuddle bear in mind every time he went upstairs other than for that he would wet himself um bless him but he would always be giving me cuddles he would just always sense that there was something wrong and i can't thank him enough for everything he did for me number 11 have you ever had issues around eating so again the answer to that is yes I've had a few issues around eating but nothing overly like major. Uh, number 12 are there any quotes you live by? The answer to that is yes and it's going to sound really weird but it's a Disney quote 
and it's the one from Pocahontas that Grandmother Willow says, um, which is sometimes the right path isn't the easiest one. And she is 100% right. So, anyway, uh, 13. Have you ever been the victim of abuse, mentally, physically, or emotionally? And the answer to that is yes, all three of the above. Number 14. Have you ever had some form of therapy? And yes, I have. Um, I've had counselling at college. As I said before, I have seen a psychiatrist for help. And I've had... Um, in the UK we have a thing called Steps for Change, so I've had Steps for Change therapy, which is like group sessions um, with people in similar situations, and I've also had some therapy through Rape Crisis, um, so I've had quite a lot of support from the system. Next is when did you encounter mental health problems and as I've said before I started getting my mental health issues when I was nine years old. Uh, next one is have you ever had a mental breakdown and the answer to that is yes I actually had several panic attacks last week um, which stopped me sort of functioning and doing my normal stuff. Um, what advice would you give yourself so the advice I would give like a younger me is that life does get better you go through hard times and you go through problems but don't let it break you down and advice I would give me now is just to be happy make sure you put yourself first um, and do the things that make you happy yeah and finally um, what advice would you give someone who is struggling with mental health and the answer to that is um, if you need someone to talk drop me a message you know where I am or um, Go talk to your friend, go talk to um, a teacher, a work college, college, colleague, um, your doctor or your parents or anyone. Just go speak to someone about it and get help it does get better um, and there's nothing wrong with asking for help and always do things that make you happy if it's not making you happy don't do it it's not worth it um, so yeah so that was my mental health Q&A get ready with me um, all products will be listed down below along with all of my social media and I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys.